A governor's task force on abortion recommending the state make available what are known as abortion reversal pills. Well, the problem, a local doctor says the treatment is not backed by science. News 4's Nick Camper is live with details. Nick? Yeah, this treatment has been studied, but the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists say it does not meet clinical standards. A local doctor wants to talk about this before any laws are passed. There's concern among OBGYN professionals, and including the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, which is our professional organization, that this is not a proven method. Dr. Dana Stone says health professionals need to speak out about the science of reversal pills. I think it might give people false reassurance. Well, I'll take it now, and maybe I can reverse it when it may not be effective and it may be dangerous. Stone is concerned about the treatment known as abortion pill reversal. If a woman wants a medication abortion, she takes two pills. The first one is a hormone blocker, and the second one flushes the uterus tissue. The reversal pill would be taken after the hormone blocker in the event that a woman had second thoughts. A governor established health task force recommends a statewide network offering the treatment through St. Francis Health System. The health system that is primarily located in the northeast part of the state says today they support the recommendation. The task force cites a study from 2018 that concludes progesterone use in early pregnancy is low risk and its application to counter the effects of mufepristone in such circumstances may be clinically beneficial in preserving her threatened pregnancy. Dr. Stone says studies are not available yet to confirm if the treatment is a true success. And she doesn't want the state to write a law forcing doctors to recommend patients treatments that aren't backed by science. The thing that I always want people to understand is that pregnancy can be dangerous for women. So anything that we do that government interference and asks us to give patients unproven treatments and interferes with the doctor-patient decision-making can only make that worse. Dr. Stone says advising a patient to take progesterone treatments may not only be unsuccessful and unnecessary to save a pregnancy, but there could be other health issues and, and risks when prescribing competing medications so close to one another.